Welcome to Perchance to Dram. Today I have a bottle of the Laphroaig Cardus 2020. This is a little bit of a departure um, so far for me um, and you know for for obvious reasons for for most whiskey reviewers you're going to start with uh, a fresh bottle. This is one um, that is um, this is going to be my last pour of of this bottle that I really um, I really treasure. Uh, and since I only started up my channel a couple months ago, um, I, I haven't had a, an opportunity to review this on YouTube and I felt like um, it deserves that and I really wanted to give it a good a good send off. Um, so yeah, what to say about this? Um, it's, I mean, you know, I like Laphroaig. They're kind of standard bottlings, not so much. I'd usually rather go with the Brooklady or an, or an Ardbeg when it comes to when it comes to the peat. Um, but they're the last two years I've had the I've had the Caritas, the which is the the yearly kind of facial, um, you know, Isle of Isla festival uh, bottlings, and have really enjoyed them. And and this one uh, for. 2020 was the port and wine cask uh, finish. Um, and of course, like all Laphroaig, heavily peated, 52% ABV. And of course, um, you know, one, one mark against it uh, is that, uh, as you'll see, it is definitely colored <laughs> and uh, and uh, chill filtered, uh, but um, you know, for for some other thoughts on chill filtration, uh, check out my video on the uh, on the Glendronach. Each year, our distillery manager John Campbell crafts a limited edition malt to celebrate the friends of Laphroaig and friendship. Cardus in Gallic, which I suspect comes from the same Indo-European root as court courtesy. Um, Cardus 2020 is a marriage of fully matured second fill Ruby Port Barriques and X bourbon barrels finished in red wine casks. Um, what it says is aromas of dark chocolate and menthol with pink peppercorns, toasted peaches, charred marshmallows, and a hint of plum jam, all intertwined with Laphroaig's iodine-rich peat smoke, resulting in a combination of honey sweet taste and Laphroaig signature. Additional smoke flavor. So, uh, of course, I, I put together uh, my tasting notes when I when I first had this whiskey, and I've been enjoying it a lot. It's one that hits a lot of the criteria that I look for, particularly in a peated whiskey, in an Isla whiskey, um, tobacco, leather, uh, with a little bit of fruitiness. Is I'm never good at measuring what's left in the bottle, so this could be this could be a little bit of a generous dram, but sue me. Got a little bit on my hands. There's the color. Um, not sure if it comes through on film, but uh, it, it does have a little bit of a like a purple tinge to it, which is yeah. so I still get plum notes, plum skins, but also. Quite honey sweetness in there. Definitely some salty coastal, some jam, plum jam. I don't know if that's a thing, but preserves. And I feel like, you know, with whatever it is, I mean, you know, whiskey people like to go back and forth about <laughs> about what happens to um, 
what happens to the spirit in the bottle uh, when you know when you've you've gotten down to um, when you've gotten down to the heel and you know, there's a lot of air in there. What does that do to the character of it, etc.? I, I don't detect a lot of difference. If anything, it's it's a bit more complex um, than than what I remember from my original tasting. A lot more of, of just the kind of acidic, maybe stone stone fruit in general. Mm, and definitely getting getting in that, that yeah, that iodine um, smoke. Alright, slosh. Yeah, so first, peppery, and we get more into the leather that I love, red leather, shiny, <laughs> and then an explosion of ash, and then as it starts to go into the finish, you get a little bit more of that vegetal coming across to me as tobacco, and on the finish, it's just a nice cooling um, but definitely quite quite powerful and lasting leather tobacco and mint so now now that I've had a sip I go back for the nose and I'm getting a lot more of that leather uh, in there and then geez just a bit of um, caramel and almost funnel cake um, you know carnival notes they're quite lovely so a, a little less of the fruit now and more into darker sugar sweetness and then um, into uh, bread territory and and leather and malt and uh, dusty building interior library I might have to buy another bottle of this Ooh, a um, little bit of, uh, I mean, engine, fuel, ethanol. If you've ever been to a NASCAR race and smelled what comes off the cars, think of that. I love this. It's, it's amazing. A uh, little less pepper on the palate now. I would say subtly riparian. A little bit of that kind of swamp gasp. Not in an overpowering or bad way. Still vegetal. And uh, getting a little more of the cereal maltiness coming through. And yeah, the finish is pretty much the same as before. Lovely, quite cool leather and maybe a little sweet pipe tobacco. Uh, I mean, this is a heck of a dram. If, if any of that <laughs> that I just described sounds good to you, it, it really fits a lot of what I look for, um, and, and I think the uh, the port and, and the wine casks really do a wonder on on peated whiskey, um, as far as I've had. I mean, I, if you like um, if you like Ugadol, if you like uh, Port Charlotte, then you know th this is probably right up your alley. Um, or if you're just a fan of Laphroaig uh, and want to try something a little bit, um, a little bit different from their normal offerings, then I can't recommend this highly enough. It's it's one of my favorite drams I've ever had. Um, I, I don't care that it's colored. I don't care about the chill filtration. Um, not what I prefer. I'd love to taste it without without those. But uh, really great whiskey should still be pretty re readily available at least here in the United States. Um, this cost me a, a little bit more than I would have liked, but I wanted to, I wanted to get it because I, um, I loved the previous year's Cardis. Um, most places that I've checked online, um, for instance, like a Total Wine or, or something like that, you can probably get it for 80, 90 bucks. And, 
you know, when it's gone, it's gone. So at that price, to me, I feel like it's a steal. Um, I think for for the average whiskey fan, it's probably right on right on the money. Um, if you're not as as particular about leather and, and tobacco as I am, um, but anyway, all right. Well, farewell to a friend.